Alright, uh, welcome back to the second video of uh, Frosty Faustings Top 8 Samurai Showdown. Um, the next match is Score vs. Space Detective, the second match in winners. So we got winner semis, um, got a Haomaru from Japan, and a Ukiyo from SoCal, if I recall correctly, Space Detective. Score is the uh, only Japanese player so far who's been traveling for this game. So he's been winning most of the events he's gone to, so... He's known for his, like, you know, his very uh, erratic yet precise movement. And Space Detective, I have not seen much of Space Detective, but I've heard about, uh, you know, Space Detective's Ukiyo, so we'll see what they do. So, right, so far, we kind of see that uh, spacing from score. We see that, you know, movement trying to figure things out, but, you know, he gets caught whiffing a throw. Space Detective's on it with that uh, down heavy. Ah, punish for the shadow slash. Probably wasn't intending to get that off one block. But in any case, right now we see Score's movement just kind of keep his space detective just sort of like slightly out of range for everything he wants to do. And like whenever he wants to like pump the gas, you know, Score will run in there and hit him. So like he's, he's playing kind of with his head a bit. And he's just, he's like you see the way he's moving. He's moving back and forth. He's throwing fireballs. He's baiting. He's just like, you don't know what I'm going to do next. So if you want to run in, you better commit hard. There's no, there's no wishy-washy about this. And when he sees us hesitating, he goes in for the throw. So right now, you just kind of see the space detective just being kind of played with a little bit. And he's just trying to find his bearings, but uh, it feels like every time he tries to settle down and see what's happening, Score runs in with the throw. But whenever he wants to run in, he runs into a poke. And it, just feel, it probably feels in right now in his mind that Score is like psychic. Even though we all know that's not the case, but that's how some players can make you feel. And really, I think Score is just seeing how much space detective is just willing to commit. To trying to get in there and get started, and like you see how Mark fireball is another point is that uh Ukiyo who's known for having to reflect on his Subame is um how Mar's fireball is not really the best suited because of the way it's way it goes out. It may not go full screen, so even if you reflect it, it won't, it doesn't give you much value. But now that the uh, space detective's kind of got his spacing and bearings, he's doing the Ukiyo things, he's mixing them up, he's staying on top of them, you know. It, it seems like he was just grasping for control, but to his credit, once he got it, he managed to keep keep it, you know, firm. He didn't, like, mess it up. Like, he got the anti-air sweep. There's the, there's the reflect. He, he happened to catch a uh, heavy fireball, and that was kind of the dynamic. If he catches the heavy fireball, it gets him what he wants, but the medium one that dissipated, he just kind of whiffed uh, Miss Green and got punished. Okay. <laughs> Both those fellas went for, uh, went for something big, but, uh... Ukiyo recovered much faster, got the uh, down heavy, so Space Detectives managed to take game two. So he's gotten his bearings at this point. He's able to kind of see through his opponent's uh, erratic movements. Seemingly erratic movements is honestly what I should say, because there's definitely a point and purpose to it. So now that he's got like, a little bit of confidence and bravery, you can kind of see him controlling the match a bit and putting score on the back foot where it was the opposite before. All right, so... Okay, sends back the heavy fireball. We kind of got a little bit of scrambling back and forth with uh, light and medium buttons. Ah, I caught him that time. So, like, he's starting to see through some of the patterns that Score has with his fireball and movements. And you kind of see he's definitely less scared. So, you could argue that that first round where he was struggling, he was just kind of gathering data and information. And now he's using that to win the match. But we're about even now. And Score, again, Score is just still trying to fill him out. And you just kind of see, like, he's not really showing any other aspects of his game, but now you start to see see him mixing in uh, just blanking jump-ins because he was not doing that in the first round. So he's starting to kind of mix in aggression throughout the throughout the crazy movements. Ah, see? And then there's another pattern we saw, like, earlier before. Whenever a space detective would seize up, score it running into it with a throw. But this time he had the uh, down forward uh, kick ready to sweep him. So you can definitely see Space Detective here paying a, a lot of attention to his opponent. Goes ahead and takes the throw so he can burst back. Oh, he got a little anxious. And uh, I want to go back and look at that. Because I think he just saw him move, jump, and he just twitched. So we move him back if YouTube will allow. All right. So we move back a little further than we thought. But we could kind of gather our thoughts on it. So here we're going to have score burst after the uh, Annie Subame. Gets the throw. Typical textbook. You know, hold on and wait for the throw. Yeah, he just saw him jump. 
and he just kind of let it loose because that was his round to win. Like, if he just had waited a smidge more, but I think the nerves probably got to him, and he <laughs> he ended up throwing out his East End and getting East End in return. So, score, you know, he's, he's taking a breath of relief. Like, yeah, I knew I was supposed to lose that. You see Space Detective, he's pretty disappointed in himself. So, but, you know, part of being in a tournament, especially when you make it to top eight, is learning when to... Um, it's learning how to keep you cool, to understand that sometimes you lose and that you're still in it. Even if you got to come back. You know, never lose heart. So Space Detective there, he just, he's, he's mulling on something, clearly. So we're back at the character select screen. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can skip ahead. So he goes back to character select screen. You know, probably to... Uh, you know, regain his cool, regain his head. You know, because he's probably still flustered from that loss. That's what a lot of people do. Now, I'm just, I'm just fluffing while I get to the uh, actual match. All right. Sorry about that, folks. All right. So now he's got his head cool, and he had more of a working game plan that time. So maybe he can work at something. Maybe he can like bring it together and take a win. So we got score going back to his old ways, using the fireballs, the mediums, and the heavies to kind of throw off the timing. Catch a space detective sleeping, grabs him. And we're seeing a little bit of the repeat of the first game, first round. So I wonder if that loss did shake space detective more than he would like to admit. Because he kind of he's kind of being timid again. And he's kind of like being afraid of score. And score kind of sees that. I like that he went for the deflect there. It just so happened it, it didn't work out for him. But it wasn't really a bad decision based on uh, scores poking patterns. Yeah, he just he just, he just jumped into it. And, uh, yeah, like, I think the way he lost that round has him shook. That first round at least impl heavily, heavily implied that. So we got to see, like, he still, like, he tried to go to, to get his cool back while waiting in character select, but it hadn't seemed to work. Because that aggression he was using on score to kind of turn the tide before is not even there anymore. And he's getting impatient. He's jumping in the jump heavies. And score is just kind of like holding his ground. He's not even really aggressing him too much at this point. He's just like kind of baiting him in so he can just die to jump heavy. Since he's not like, if you haven't noticed the last few seconds, Space Detective hasn't put an anti-air Subami on these last few jump seas. And he's blocked most of them. So he hasn't really made any real attempt to take it score out of the air. He, you can just kind of tell he's shook. There's another one. Like, he's blocked almost all of them. And you just kind of see, like, he's, he's, he's trying to come out of the cell shock as best he can by, you know, running him down to the corner, trying to move in. And he's, he's kind of, he's gradually, you know, regaining his cool, but, you know, it's, hopefully it's not too late. Because he's down uh, the game-winning round for a score, and his health is in the orange. So, like, it's pretty dangerous right now. You know, Ukiyo takes 110% damage, so he takes more than usual. And now he's in the red zone. Now he has to really consider if he wants to burst. And so now he's bursted. But even if he wins this round with this burst, you know, he's still going down with minimum resources. But that's not a problem because Thor just sticks out a far medium slash. And yeah, uh, and it's unfortunate because Space Detective definitely had what it took to beat score and to play with, play the game. But like losing off that Eason, I think it just it just broke him. And he couldn't regain his calm anymore, and score just kind of tore it away with him. But in any case, that's the second winner's match. So that sends uh, Big Bates and uh, Space Detective to losers, and score and Didi Mokoff to winner's finals. So uh, on to the next match.